Where's Mr. Manoush? Sold the business. Are you Mr. Schultz? Yeah. I worked for Mr. Manoush last summer. I know the route and I well, thought... I got my son. Couldn't use the two of us? I know all the customers. You want to split your salary, John? What salary? <laughs> ice! We got ice! to buy any. I can't believe you're gonna steal some guy's clothes. It's not stealing, it's a loan. Look, I'm just gonna borrow them for graduation. This is crazy, Delaney. Jackpot. They're perfect. Forget it, Ryan. They'll kick you off the minute you set foot on the turf. Look at he's my size. This is too good to pass up. Wait here. Delaney, knock it off. If you're caught, you're dead, and I'm not floating for you. never going to happen again. You only get to graduate once. So don't move. Smile, everyone. Hold it now. The class of 1935. I now take pleasure in presenting the uh, citywide award given to the top student in every school who possesses that combination of scholastic ability and personal integrity that has earned him the esteem of his peers. This year's winner is Ryan Delaney. last double shift I'm on now for another month. Here. That'll pay my tuition next year. Oh, that's wonderful, sweetie. Your dad has been so proud of you. But, uh, this doesn't pay for the whole expense. Brian, how can I afford to let you go to university? We need you to get a permanent job. But this is a scholarship. Going to university means books and God knows what other extras. I can barely keep up with the rent. I don't want us to live this way anymore, Ma. Lawyers make lots of money. That takes time. What if I get TB again? Where's our money going to come from? If you get a steady job, maybe we could afford to send for Sullivan. It just breaks my heart having to keep him away like this for months at a time. Last time I telephoned him, he said he was upset because he couldn't hook me over the telephone. I'm 
counting on you, Ryan. You're the man of the family. You'll have to have your scholarship process before we defer your tuition fees. You'll receive confirmation in the mail. Thanks. You're lucky you got your uncle's farm to go to in the summer. I heard about a job the other day. I don't know if they'd hire you, though. What do you mean? It's a job, isn't it? A J-O-B? Unless I get one, I can't even afford to go to this place. Goodbye law school, goodbye everything. Now, my cousin Bobby told me that this Women's League Society has started a camp for kids whose families are on relief. And they need counselors, but you gotta be 18. I can look 18. But you don't know anything about camping. What's to know about camping? You take kids swimming and stuff. Can you swim? No. So I'll take them on hikes. When I think of some of the finky counselors I had at camp, I guess you got about as much chance as anybody. God, Billy, where do I get an interview? I think it's over at the rec center at City Hall. But if you see Bobby, don't tell him I gave you the idea. I got an interview for next Thursday. It gives me less than a week to become an experienced camp counselor. Where is this camp? I don't know, north someplace. Summer job seems like a waste of time to me. I'm sorry, Effie, to barge in on you like this. Oh, come in, come in. I was just off to work, Maureen, but if I'd known you were coming... George I... lost his job last week. Oh, Maureen, no. What happened? Business was tight. The bank closed her down. We can't keep Sullivan anymore, Effie. You have to take him back. But I just found this job. I wanted to send the money for him, but I'm I... I'm not asking you for the money. Well, maybe Bridget could take it, just for a little while. Until Ryan gets a job. Good Lord, Effie. You're his mother. Well, Bridget's had him for three years. You've got your health now. You can manage. Goodbye, Sullivan. Bye, Effie. I'm sorry. I appreciate you helping me for as long as you could, Maureen. Give my love to George and the little ones. Goodbye, Sullivan. Good luck now. Well, come in and shut the door for Pete's sake. Oh, dear. Put this in your room, will you, Ryan? Of course, we're glad to have you home again, Sullivan. But, uh, but I'm late for work. I simply have to go. I can't take care of him. I've got a million things to do. And why not? Oh, no, don't be difficult, Ryan. I'll be back at midnight. Sullivan, you mind your brother now. Come on. 